Hey guys, just a quick video here today on the um, just a controls express network utility. Um, you launch the program um, and it comes out blank with nothing in it, which is um, how you want it to be. Um, you're basically scanning for devices, um, just a controls devices. Um, the, there's only two tabs here, so the settings tab is how you set up your scan. So what kind of port do you use and then what protocol. Um, there's a couple of little um, times here that you can change based on whether you have a good network or a, a bad network. Um, I often just leave all of that default except for the interface. Um, by default the disk deck controllers are HTTPS active and HTTP off. So um, you would have to manually make some adjustments on each controller for that to be um, the wrong choice. Um, so I've got a couple of network interfaces here. Um, the network bridge is my Wi-Fi. So my local Wi-Fi that I'm on. I'm also connected to a VPN which shows up here as well as a different interface. Right, so if I scan on my um, Wi-Fi first, um, it asks you to enter the admin credentials for the, each of the controllers. Um, and so it's in your best, best interest to make all the admin um, username and passwords the same across the board in this case. Um, but if you do not put the correct password, it will still pick up and still scan. You just won't, won't be able to do a lot of the other functions. Um, so I'll just scan that and it has found the uh, training device pretty much instantly. Um, it'll continue scanning for what, 15, 15 seconds. Or stop first. Um, so you notice on the left here, normally it shows up as like a lock or an unlock, depending whether you put the uh, username and password incorrectly. Um, I'll also change the interface now to the uh, VPN that I'm connected to. So I'll go ahead and scan the other interface. Hopefully something comes back. Nope. Okay. There may be some blocking tools with um, the VPN, so it only allows you know connection from certain ports. You also need to have Microsoft Excel installed on your PC for this uh, software to work. I'm not sure why. Okay. You can see down here um, in the information that when it picks up the Eclipse training, it does have an authorization failure, which is why um, it doesn't come up with the unlock um, token there. I'll just cancel this. I'll put it back on my Wi-Fi. And then, don't know how that happened. And then this time we'll uh, we'll type out the uh, training password. Training one two three four five. Um, if you click set it, set as new default, it'll just save it in there for you. So this time uh, you do see the unlock symbol. And that's nice because all of these buttons will become um, active. They'll use that username and password um, to complete any configuration changes that you want to make. Um, okay, that is just a basic rundown. Uh, you can launch uh, the GFX program from here. Uh, this one is update, update the controller with a new GFX program. 
to launch the program, right click and click launch. That's going to open up your GFX. Okay. There's plenty of other options here that I'll probably go through in other videos, um, but I think that's just the basics that you need to know for now. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.